Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 390. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 387 to 393. And in this trick, we want to see how to increment numbers when we have words. Let's just look at an example. If you have a test one, there's a word and a number, no characters after the number, so when you double click and send it down, it increments the number. What if we did uh, 10? and then uh, test like that. If the number's at the beginning, it will also increment. Now, something interesting, if you test 1 and copy Control-C and then Control-V paste, it doesn't work. This trick only works if I do situation uh, and then a number at the end. This, will, this word and number will increment only if you use the fill handle. So I'll double click and send it down. Ah. But what in the world are you going to do if you have this situation? There's a word, a number, and then some character afterwards. When I double click and send it down, it's like, uh, I don't know what you want to do. So um, I actually created this list the other day, and I was like, what in the world am I going to do? I don't want to uh, control Z to undo it. I don't want to come in and have to edit each one of these, right, like this, which would be better if there was no other option, right? Whoops. Whoa. Let's see if I can try this again. All right, delete. Um, but forget that. What I did was I just typed a colon right here, shift colon, and then I double clicked and sent that down. And now I had this part and this part in two separate cells. And all I did was I joined them together. So I said that, and then ampersand, shift 7, the join symbol, and that. Those are relative cell references. I can double click and send those down. Now, once I had that, I, I pointed to the edge and right clicked the selection and dragged it. And when I let go, I said, copy here is values only. That's a, uh, a mouse way to do paste special values. And then sure enough, I had uh, exactly what I wanted. Another way you could do this is with a formula. And if you had a really, really well, here's another way, if you wanted to do it this way. I'm going to join text, which has to be in double quotes, situation, space, end double quote, and then ampersand. And how do I increment a number? One, two, three, four. I use the rows, since I'm copying down along the rows. And I'm sitting in C7, so I'm going to type C dollar sign 7. That'll be locked, colon, and one of them won't. What this will do is right now it will give me a 1, but this will be locked, this won't, so when it gets down to the next one, this will be 8, it will give me 2. So there um, I've joined text and uh, a function. I need to join one more thing, and in double quotes, I've got to put colon, double quotes. Du Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. So that's a second way uh, to do it. I probably um, uh, would do it. Uh, this first way, just because I'm probably a little bit faster than uh, doing the formula, but sometimes people that know how to type formulas fast, boom, that's it. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.